The 12th of February 2018 is known as Darwin Day. It's where we celebrate Charles Darwin and I'm here today to confess my love of Charles Darwin. I would go as far and use the word hero, but that's quite a strong word to use. Uh, it, might, it might just be a beard thing, to be fair. I think it might actually be that. Put on the beard. But I thought to celebrate, it would be nice to make a little video about him, just to explain about who he was, some facts about him, why I love him so much, and where you can actually find out more about him. Before I start this uh, fountain of knowledge speech about Charles Darwin, I'm going to be making myself a mini Darwin. I saw this online and thought it'd be a nice little but accompaniment to the video. Basically, Darwin was known for his theory of natural selection, where all species originated from a common ancestor, and through the process of natural struggles, evolution occurred, and the species that we know today existed. So to give this a quick example, if there were two rabbits living on a mountain and it got colder over a few thousand years, the rabbit with the thickest fur would survive because it is warmer, therefore the one that had less hair would sort of die off, and the one with the thicker hair would give its thicker hair gene to its babies, and the babies that had the thicker hair out of those ones would then carry on their genes to the next generation, and so on and so forth, until we've got very hairy rabbits. But that's kind of what he's known for. There are also some more uncommon things, which is what I'm going to tell you now. His book where he outlined his main theory on the origin of species was not actually just him. It was also co-written by someone else called Alfred Russell Wallace. And if you're wondering why Charles Darwin is more known for this theory other than him, it's because Charles Darwin had a lot more evidence and a lot more research behind him. Although Alfred Russell was the reason it was published, because Charles Darwin actually sat on his idea for 20 years, and he supposedly didn't publish because he didn't want to upset the religious makeup of the land. There's a lot of debate about whether Charles Darwin was religious or not, but what is for sure is that his wife was. Now, we'll get more on her in a second. But essentially, his theory completely destroys the widely believed creation story at that time. Some people even said he killed God. But in the end, to avoid that issue, he just left God out of the picture completely. Right, now back to his wife. His wife was actually his cousin. And if anyone knows anything about inbreeding, when two things are very similar in their genetic makeup, such as two people that are closely related, when they have babies and children, those babies and children are more likely to have problems. Due to the lack of varying genes, I think is what it's the reason for it. But the two did have children, they had ten in total, two died in infancy, and another girl, Annie, died at age ten. And, understandably, that completely shook up Charles and Emma. That's his wife's name. In fact, Charles Darwin, whenever one of the kids did get ill, he did worry that it was because of the inbreeding between him and Emma. But he was said to be a very devoted dad, and one of the things he actually did to his children when they were babies was record all of the little expressions of emotion they did and how they sort of grew and developed. Something that actually played into something else he did where he actually studied a young orangutan called Jenny the Orangutan. And essentially, he brought all of that research together for one of his other books called The Expressions of the Emotions in Men and Animals. Could have thought of a better title for that, but that's probably where I'm going to leave it, because otherwise we'll just be here all day. I mean, he wasn't perfect either. He was part of a club where they ate exotic animals. Uh, but despite that, I still admire the guy, and I have actually been thinking about the beard thing. I do also like Leonardo da Vinci and Charles Dickens, so I definitely think it's a beard sort of intellectual thing that I admire. There's just one or two more things I want to sort of mention before we go for today, but Charles Darwin is actually on the back of the old British £10 notes. Uh, we've got a new design now, so he's not on them anymore, but uh, you can see he got Charles Darwin on there, as well as uh, the HMS Beagle, which is the ship he went on to go to the Galapagos Islands, as well as one of the birds which he was well known for uh, sketching and analysing to sort of develop his own theory. You can actually go away and read some of his publications. Uh, for Christmas, I got On the Origin of Species, he probably his most famous book that he's written. Uh, but I'm going to showcase this again in the future in a different video, but so far, I haven't read it yet, but it's got, it's got small writing, but very big words. So we'll see how that turns out. In the future, I'm going to be starting my new gaming channel as well. Uh, this is kind of like self-promotion, but it's kind of related. But with the gaming videos that I'm doing, I'm going to be reading off facts to do with certain topics related to the games that we're playing. I hope that made sense. But one of those topics is Charles Darwin. That's where I've sort of found out some facts about him. But another thing that I learned is a film that's actually based on his life, particularly around the time where he published his work, uh, and that's called Creation. So if you want to go check that out, uh, it's pretty good. It's sort of got like average reviews, but I felt it was quite good. It sort of gives you a lot of details about what happened, particularly with the death of one of his children, and Jenny the orangutan. So cute and so sad at the same time. <clears throat> 
But now it's time for the uh, jar of names. This is something I do where I thank someone who has commented for watching the videos and this week we thank Overlord Master. But in the meantime, happy Darwin Day and you can do what you want with this video now. You can like it, you can share it, or you can use it to find the origin of the video.